Jasmine is currently two days away from moving out and here I am. I'm gonna be showing you guys my 2018 to 2019 freshman dorm room. I know that this is a little late, but it's better late than never, right? So let's begin. So once you come in, this is my side of the room. I'm not going to be showing you guys my roommate's side over there because it literally looks like three natural disasters just hit it. All right, let's start with the door area. This is a dried up plant that I placed here on like the first day of school. A towel. I know it looks dirty, but it's just because I keep getting purple shampoo stains on it. And then behind it, I have my bathrobe that I am always wearing. Then to the right of the door when you come in, this is my wardrobe. I keep my drawing stuff down here and this is normally where I have like a really big portfolio but it's not in here because I have a drawing final tomorrow so it's in the studio and then up here I have my bags and totes this tote is an everyday tote and then this is like my everyday cute bag I just got it recently and I really like it because it's super long what do I have in here hmm Oh, I have nail polish in here too. And then my keys are over here. Uh, my ID card is not in here. And these are just some cute little bags. And then moving up on top of the wardrobe, I have my mic up there. And I also have two empty bottles with dried flowers in them. Up here, I just have some more drawing stuff. These are the big rows of paper that I've used. I had way more stuff from drawing studio from first semester, but I threw most of that away because there's literally no use for it. And then moving to here, I have my straightener, my curling iron, and my hair dryer. Normally, these would be on the ground over here. And then this urban bag is just filled with cloth in it for when I paint. I have a few postcards that I collected from France. This is a Polaroid of Mochi. So cute, I miss him. And then this is my boyfriend and I. I would show you guys what's in my wardrobe, but I packed most of my clothes already. So there's really nothing in here except for a suitcase and a lump of clothes. And my DSLR over there, which is usually on top, but since I had space, I put it in here. I also have two command hooks over here, two over here, and this is where I keep my bags and scarves and hats. Next to my wardrobe, I have a floor-length mirror from Ikea. And as you can see, this is my moving situation behind me. This is really great for like deciding outfits. Behind my mirror, I also have a lot of stuff. I have a charging area. This is where I normally charge my camera. And this is a scent diffuser that I'm pretty sure is empty. An extension cord that leads to over here. And this is where I normally like plug in my curling iron and like other hair stuff. But right now I just have my lamps. Let's see what I have here. Watercolor paper, two canvases drawing paper, an alien bag, and a crumpled up glossy bag. On top of this mirror, I have a little sweet magnolia scented packet that my mom gave me. And then this is, I just put it here for decor, but I think it's soap. Yep, they're bath petals. A leaf that fell from over here. These are all fake by the way, cause I can't take care of plants. To the wall next to my mirror, I decorated it like this. this is from a fellow exhibition in my school. I really like the design of this, which is why I placed it here. I also hung up my tape because I thought this was a brilliant idea. And my rulers too. Another ruler down here. If you're wondering why I have so many rulers, it's because my first semester of drawing required a lot of straight lines. And I could not figure out the right ruler to buy. And I ended up buying like four different rulers. I also have two little glossy cards up here. This is from the packaging of of the blush that I really like. It's by and other stories and I just thought their packaging was really cute which is why I decided to rip it out and just pin it here. I got this little guy from an art fair back in first semester I believe. If anyone has a name for him please comment down below. A really beautiful calendar. This is a 2019 calendar. It comes with illustrations on each page. I really should use it more but I don't and literally the only thing circled here is when I'm moving out and going home. I also have a new school metro card here that I put up. I don't attend the new school but I really like the red so that's why I have it up here. Another postcard by Edgar Degas. A painting that I decided to do instead of doing my classwork in studio. This is a little air plant holder that I got from Amazon but I decided to place all my scrunchies and hair stuff in it. And then down here I have a sketch that I did for a project in design studio. Oh, I also forgot to show you guys this part. This is a ledge 
what is this doorway hair ceiling i just have more fake plants this is the proof that i cannot take care of real plants these air plants are dead but i mean dead air plants are still cute right there's another one over here it's also dead here we also have a bunch of fake leaves fake vines another dead air plant up here this is my table area, aka my workspace, except I don't really work here. I normally work on the bed. Let me first begin by talking about this goddamn chair. I really hate it because it's literally a rocking chair and I feel like I'm falling to my death every time I lean back a little. Inside my table area, I have a really cute white trash can. To the left of my table, I have tissue here and then these two are just containers for paint water this is <laughs> this is what i call my wake up spray it's just a spray bottle from muji that i filled with toner water in but it feels really nice every time i missed myself here i have a mason jar where i place a lot of my pens and pencils and then my salt spray for my piercings this is a purple heat lamp that I've attached to my bed frame. Really nice, really trendy among art students these days. I have a lamp that I bought from home. It has a bunch of stickers on it. And then over here is just basically stuff for my face. A mirror here. This is really nice because it has a holding area down here. This is just all my everyday makeup that I use. These white containers are from Muji. Here I just have everything for skincare. And down there in the second level, I have miscellaneous miscellaneous makeup and then these are my palettes this is for my hair this clear acrylic case is also for muji and this is just all my makeup i kind of organized it i tried to these are mostly lipsticks okay you know what it's not organized it's not organized until you get to the bottom level these are all my brushes and then this little container over here, this is an empty Cosrx pad container. And in here, I actually just placed all my jewelry. Now that I have given you an overview of my desk, I will show you guys a more of it. Normally, I have like notebooks and notepads here, but I already packed them up. All that's left are just a few postcards, my drive over here, some pads of paper, and two sketches that I have to bring to my final tomorrow. First one is more beauty related things. This is my makeup pouch that I always carry whenever I travel. This is also miscellaneous stuff. This is a jewelry holder, but I don't really bring it out anymore because it's really big. I also have my Polaroid printer down here. And then moving to the last one, this is the biggest drawer. This one usually contains art supplies that I don't really use. For example, this would be filled with oil paint and oil mediums because I didn't really work with them this year but right now it just has watercolor, gouache, and a few sketchbooks in here. So that's it for my desk area and then next to my desk I have two big canvases. This is the portrait that I did and then this is the painting that I swear I'm going to finish at one point and I just have them here because I don't really have anywhere else to put them. This is the view from my bed. Here I have two tinted sunglasses that I pinned up. And then down here I have more packaging. This one is by 3CE. Funny two second story, I actually spilled all toner in here. And then up here I have two Polaroids from a prom I went to. This is Daniel, me, and Justin. And then this is Justin and me. And then up here I have my painting that I am going to make prints for soon. This is another print that I got from a museum in France. I have another Polaroid and this one is of me and Victoria. This is a project that I made in 3D class last semester. I was gonna throw away, but I decided that I should just hang it up. These two prints are both from the art fair that I went to. These are two photo cards from photo exhibitions in my school. This is also a print by Jia Sung. And then down here, I have a little card that I got from Korea. It came with my earrings. Here, I have one of my favorite paintings. This is my little orange painting. And then up here, I also have a shelf. And this shelf is really dangerous at times. I have two glass bottles of dried flowers. These stems are broken because this has fallen down to my bed all the way here. But it so far has fallen twice because I accidentally banged the wall too hard in my sleep. This is the area above my bed. I have another postcard from France. And then this is a little red beret. Um, I was really into red first semester. I still am. But I decided to keep it here for decor. And then here is a really dried up flower that I picked up. These are just more postcards from France. And then here I just pinned up a fake vine. I also have these lights. 
that I hung across the wall. That part was really hard to get because um, the ceilings are really tall in this storm. And it goes down all the way to my mirror area. I feel like this adds like a really nice touch to the room. This is my bed. On my bed, I have two pillows. These pillow covers are both from Muji. And I also have two Totoro's. This is one. This is the cuter one. This one is missing an eye over here. And um, it's also a bit yellow because Mochi peed a little on it, but... And then for my bedding, I have a mattress topper and I kind of regret not getting the foam one because mine is pretty thin and I like it when my bed is super... I have bed sheets from Urban, another fleece blanket to make my bed softer. And then for my blankets, I have first a really cute doggy fleece blanket. I use this when I get a little bit cold during the nights. And then here I have a comforter. This one was from Urban Outfitters, I believe. Stuffing started to come out of it. So I covered it with a white duvet cover from Muji and I really like how it looks. The white bed sheets make my room seem a lot brighter. Behind my bed, I also have an extension cord and this is for a lamp and these are for the lights. And normally I have like my laptop charger here and my phone charger here too. To the foot of the bed, this is where I hang a lot of my tote bags for studio and other classes. Moving on to underneath my bed, this is what I believe is really brilliant. This drawer up here used to be down here, but I decided that I was gonna take it out and put it on top. So this drawer is where I have all my underwear, bras that I don't really wear, and a lot of other like t-shirts. And then this drawer, this is where I keep a lot of my toiletries and other miscellaneous items. I also have a lot of face masks in here that I should probably use soon. This is blue hair dye that I never got to use, but I'm still going to keep it just in case. Down here, this is where I keep my shoes. Most of them are boots. And then there's just this one pair of sneakers that I always wear. There's like seven pairs of shoes in here, I believe. Great place for storage. Over here, I have a little roller. This is great for the carpet. This is where I store all my acrylic paints. This is my electric skillet, and we're not supposed to cook in the dorms, but whatever. And then in here, this is just some food, pots and pans. This is just more ramen, sauces, and other miscellaneous cooking items. All the way in the back, I have paper towels, a large storage bin with art materials and oil paints. That bag over there is just more art materials. And then behind this area, I have a lot of plastic bags so that I can reuse them. I also have my ice skates over there. That painting of my mom that I never finished. I'm probably just gonna reuse the canvas for next year. And I also have a mini photo easel over here for when I paint. This is my lighting equipment. And this is my laundry hamper filled with clothes I really need to wash. This urban bag just has more art materials. And this is just for cleaning. This is detergent. This is my little like shower caddy, basically. A pillow that I call my floor pillow because once I bring it out and over here, I also have a carpet so I can just sit here and relax. And this is it for under my bed. Next to my bed, I have this carpet. I just feel like it makes this gray carpet look so much prettier. And also it's covering a charcoal stain under. Next to my bed, I have these drawers. This used to be over here, but I decided to move it out and make it into a bedside table. A painting that I did in first semester. And then I have my silver play button here. I have two bottles of dry flowers. This is also a clay mask. I just love this packaging because it looks like a paint tube. This is a toothbrush holder and a toothbrush from Muji. I really love this jade green color these days. Over here, I have a Scorpio Constellation case. In here, I just have my really dainty pieces of jewelry. I also have another Polaroid of me and Justin. <laughs> and then this is just perfume. This is my favorite perfume, but this is discontinued at Urban, so I'm just really sad. I have my Glossier Generation G in cake here for whenever my lips get dry. And then this is a little pin from the same art fair that I went to. In this container, it used to have chocolates that my mom bought back for me from Europe. But now I just keep like coins and other small things in here like SD cards. My bear mirror from Line Friends night cream my birth control is out here in the open so i remember to take it a little postcard that i got from the majory pop-up store in new york cat cup 
that I drink tea from. These are some vitamins that my mom sent me, but I never got to taking them. So funny story, this is completely off topic, but I just have to say it. These dried flowers were sent to Jemma by her boyfriend. But basically, April and I got flowers for a project. We didn't have anywhere to place it in their room. So these flowers were already pretty dried up in the vase and we wanted that vase. So then we put the new flowers in the vase and April was like, oh, Jemma probably doesn't want these flowers anymore, so you can take them. And Jemma was sleeping, so she didn't know any of this. But then the next day, Jemma was like, you took my flowers. Okay, that was completely off topic. Let's get back to the video. This is just my electronic stuff. iPad, laptop, charger, my wallet. Stickers from Glossier, and this is a book that I am trying to read, keyword trying, because I've gotten really bad at reading books. I'm trying to read more books. And then I also have a sketchbook here in case I want to doodle a bit before going to bed. In these drawers, I already packed a lot of my things, but up here, I keep my tops, and then down here, I keep my bottoms. So this is basically it for my bedside area, and we're going to move to my windowsill. Over here, I have a little Totoro that I bought from home. A succulent. Is this alive? And this was sent to me by my mom during my birthday. This is a diffuser from Muji. This isn't actually in mine. This is my friend's. But I thought it looked really cute, so I took it. Is this dead or alive? I think it's dead down here. Another little dead air plant holder. There's a dead air plant behind here. I mean, it still looks cute. Another dead but pretty succulent. Another dead air plant with its holder over here. And that's it for my windowsill. And then next to my windowsill, I have a microwave and a fridge. My dorm came with the microwave and the fridge, which was great. A red Keurig. I only make tea in it because I don't really like coffee. This is another cat mug that Vicky got me for Christmas. Microwave is kind of dirty inside. We have to clean it. The fridge, I'm not even going to open it, but this is a fridge. This is my view from the window. My window is pretty tall, I guess. So from this angle of the dorm, this is what my room looks like. This is the space that I've been living in for my freshman year of college. And this dorm is actually considered the shittiest one out of all the dorms in my school. But I've had a lot of fun in here. It's been great. I really liked decorating my space here and filming videos in here for you guys. This was really highly requested, so I finally decided to film it. But at the same time, I'm also super excited to be moving into an apartment with my friends for the next school year. So stay tuned for that. And I'm also really excited to move out, but that's going to be a struggle. I have really weak arms. <laughs> and really heavy boxes but i'm really excited to move out and really excited for the summer and really excited for the next school year and i hope that you guys enjoyed watching this and i'll see you guys in the next video bye